Oh, wait, grab our book, Unschool Discoveries. It's available now. Unschooldiscoveries.com. Go ahead, go get your copy. Don't wait. So we're sitting down having tea time with each other. Um, there's grapes, there is a cookie, and there is turmeric chai and uh, water. And we're looking at all the animals of the swamp to learn about the swamp biomes of Earth and the animals, big, teensy-weensy, and large within the swamp, right? Everything it ate were like chips or something. We'd be like one potato chip. Not that filling, and it's not a lot, and also not that filling. You can say potato chips. This two pennies. It potato. was an expression. So the swamp biome has what kind of animals? Frogs, toads, snakes, and alligators. And humans that try to eat the alligators. Don't forget garfish. Yeah, garfish live in the swamps. And that they only live in clean water. Who said the swamp doesn't have clean water? Swamp doesn't mean dirty water. It means marshy lands that's a mix of land and water. It's not a lake or an ocean, and it's not fully land. It's a mix of land and water. That's what a swamp is. Yes. Is there a real big island? I have to look it up. Ivy, do you know if that the answer to that question? The answer to what question? Is there a real pig island? No. There's like an island, but like somewhere off the coast of Washington, I think, called Orca Island. Orca but, Island? Yeah. There's an actual island named that, I'm pretty sure. Mm. Is there a pig? Well, we can definitely look that up, Ali B. Okay. Okay. Anything else you want to know about the swamp that we need to plan to look up? Yes. Okay, what is that? Trust me that Mr. Krabs is a um, strawberry crab. I do trust you on that. Oh, I think there might be crabs. In, I know there's crawfish in swamps also. And, and crabs? Oh um, no, we need a type of crawfish too. Okay. We need a, like type a million things. I know, there's so much to learn about the world, right? And I see a big, and I see a big bird so high in the sky. Yeah? Yeah, it's like a phantom. And there's birds in the swamp too. Mm-hmm. They like to go places near and far. So so birds can live in different biomes. Some stick to one and some change. Do you think the real American animal is the eagle? North Americans, specifically United States Americans, use the eagle as a figurehead, as an emblem, and they get that from indigenous Americans. Oh, I don't know. I think they're just like an all the time, anytime animal. No, I think they're more daytonal. Daytonal? <laughs> we need to look up that word. What is daytonal? Is it is it daytonal? The opposite of nocturnal, or is there something else? Okay, now I know. Eagles come out when the sun is up. Yes. And also, I feel like the birds are extinct because I see no more birds. No, they're not extinct. They're just either in high, uh, hibernation yeah, or I migration. See I see one bird. Oh, look at that. I see two more birds. I think you need to keep your eyes peeled because there's a lot more birds around. I mean, I've been looking at the red, the red robins, um, not the red robins, the red cardinals. Um, dancing all over around the house. 
Have you not been seeing them? Mommy, also I am very sure that there is not a lot of clouds today. That makes you scared? Yeah. Why? Because there must be like a big animal. Taking up all the clouds from the sky? No, a big animal just coming out of nowhere and me getting scared. Oh, don't be scared, okay? All right, so when we get back, we're going to look up animals in the swamp biome, yes? Yes. Okay. Okay, we can't, we can't slit up all of those and type those. We have to um, type all the animals in swamp biome. I mean in swamp. Okay. So we can get all of it. Okay. We'll do. Mommy? Yes? Would you dream of me getting a turtle? Were you dreaming of getting a turtle? Yes. You were? Hmm. Is that so? So when we move, are you going to get a turtle? I'd rather get a dog. So when you move out, you'll get a dog? Yeah, but I might, but I might get a pug, one of those dogs with the big noses. Because when I played a Dr. Panda game where you draw the animals, and I saw the dog in real life, it was so sad. Oh. So I'd rather have a pug. Why? So you can cheer it up and make it happy? Yeah. Okay, well, I'm not getting a dog that uh, I have to remind you to take care of. So. Wait, also, there should be a pi private house next to our new house so the dogs can be in it. Well, that's a smart idea. And poop everywhere in that <laughs> private house. <laughs> yeah, so the poop doesn't have to be in our house. It can be in their house. Yeah. And then we can, like, and then maybe, like, every so often we can, like, clean it out a little bit. So <laughs> we go, so we'll go visit them in their house instead of them being in our house. Mm -hmm. And you guys will clean up their house? Yeah, we'll clean up their house. Okay, that sounds like an idea that's workable. I can, I, would, I can work with that idea. I don't think we should clean their house because some pets clean their poop, right? Yeah, I some do. Also, if we do get a dog, I may just call it Muffin, even if its name is not Muffin. It will probably have at least five nicknames. <laughs> five nicknames. Just like you guys have five nicknames? Indeed. Like, poop. Google at Grandma's house, like, has zero connect names, but they have a nickname. Okay. So, not the swamp pet of a turtle, but the land pet of a dog. No, not at all. You know this. You've seen a tortoise and you've seen frogs. I haven't. Yes, you have. Is tortoises older than um, turtles? Uh, they're different. Is it gene? It's not genus, right, Ivy? It's different species? Tortoise and tortoises and turtles? Ivy? Yeah? Tur tortoises and turtles are different species, not different genus, right? Okay, so we are having tea time together. What's part of our tea time today, guys? So we're having grape, grapeless chai, serving tea. We're grape. having turmeric chai. And some white chocolate macadamia cookies as a little dessert. What kind of cookie? White chocolate macadamia cookies as a little dessert. It's a little dessert to our tea time. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Okay, now the podcast. Mommy, we had to type all the animals in swamp. 
Okay. Okay, so we're learning the swamp biomes of Earth, right? Mm. And we're typing all the animals of the swamp. No, okay. I want to see the things. I want to see the things. Okay. You see them. Blue, blue crab. Right, so you're in the mic. You're going to be heard, okay? I see a blue crab. Is that a blue crab? Why does it say Oliver on that? Where do you see Oliver? It says Danny Oliver. You know how to read the name Oliver? How do you spell Oliver? I already know. So say it. O-L-I-V-E-R. Yep. You know how to spell Oliver. Okay, so in the animals of the swamp, we have crawfish. And also, I forgot what that is, a, pot, a platypus. Yep, platypus. Platypus. P-L-A-T-Y-P-U-S. Platypus. And also a hat and a lace. Platypus. Fishing cat. Marsh Fish. rabbit. Louisiana crawfish. And then there's crayfish. Mm, so crayfish and crawfish are two different things. I did not know that. I thought it was just different pronunciations. I'm pretty sure I have um, right to this. Right to this. That's a blue heron. Blue heron? That's, That's one heron. of the birds. No, this one over here. That's a bird of the swamp. Uh, the great blue heron. What shawl is this from? That is called a baru babarusa. Is this from this? It's a pig-like animal. Let's type that animal. I don't know that this is from the swamp. I don't know why that came up. Let's go back to the animals of the swamp. Okay, so the Baru Babarusa does come up for the swamp. It's a pig-like animal native to the rainforest swamps in the Indonesian islands why are you, of mommy, Sulawesi, Togan, Sula, why only a shawl? and Baru. Why only a shawl? Why only a skull? Yeah. It might be... Um, Endangered. Let's find out. So it can be found in Indonesia. Are those animals where we are? Are they what? Those animals where we are? No, these are not where we are. Why? Why? Because they're from Indonesia. And we didn't look up American swamp animals. We looked up swamp animals of Earth. So let's see if we can find there. this particular there. animal. Well, there you go. Huh? There it is. Yeah. It looks does... It's a pig with tusks. Four <laughs> tusks. Why does it look like... There's bones coming out of it. Because it is. It has four bones. It has two bones on the top of its snout and two bones sticking out from its mouth. So extra long oh, teeth. Oh, that's one bone coming out of its mouth. Is this one dying? No, look. One, two. Two coming out of the mouth. No, there And then isn't. one, two on the snout. No, there isn't. There's only one. So then let's look at, look, look at some more of them. They live 24 uh, years. Look. See, now you can see all four. Uh, it's a pig with four tusks. Two coming out of its mouth and two protruding from its snout. Oh, that looks like a, sn a snout to drink water. Is this a baby one? I don't know if it's a baby one. I think it's a baby one because it, ha it doesn't have the tusks. And did we take this and lay eggs? No, this is a mammal. It's not going to lay eggs. Then why Mammals give birth to live babies. Then why is there like a tiny one? Because they start off small, just like you did. And why do mammals not lay eggs? That's a good question. As to why, no one really knows why. Why are any, why are any animals different from each other? We just know that they, they are. And we know that there's two ways to come onto Earth. You're either born alive because you incubated in your mom's tummy or you're born you come out your mom as an egg and you develop within the egg externally from mommy, your mommy this one looks better i think to answer the question why it might be because mammals are a bit more destructive than animals who are born from eggs and so you can't carry 100 babies born live in your belly but you can give birth to one or two or a few, and then the animals that lay eggs, they lay so many eggs because not all the babies make it. Some of them become food, some of them are prey, some of them may not be strong enough, and so they give back to Earth in other ways, to the whole life cycle, to the food chain. And then, and then they become mammals. Mm -hmm. When they give birth to what kinds of babies, eggs or live? Now let's type. Okay, what do we want to type? We want to go back to more swamp animals? American swamp animals. Okay. Where do you, 
where we live. Look, American Swamp Eel. American Swamp Rat. No, American Swamp. American Swamp. It yes. Says American Do you swamp. want to focus on North America? No, I'm talking about the place where we live. Wait, there's alligators? Mm hmm. Platypuses? Mm hmm. Do platypuses live where we are? So these are from the Texas swamplands because we're in Texas. But if you want to look at a Louisiana or you want to look at Florida or other pla other states, we can look at them too. It seems like there's no platypuses where, li where we live. No platypuses. Hold on one second. There's I saw no... something amazing. What is it? Land animals of Texas. But we'll hold off on that because we're not focused on land animals. We're focused on swamp animals, right? Yeah. Okay. So there you go, swamp animals uh, of North America. Right. So name the animals that live in swamps. Mommy, I ain't get to, mommy, I ain't get to look for the platypus. Okay, baby. Is that a platypus? Yep, duck-billed platypus. So do platypuses live where we are? Where we are? Mm -mm. Okay. But does that live we? We are, are that the pig thing. Interesting. That. It did come up in the American. Oh, wait, this is not American. This is just swamp. How do we get there? Oh, focus. Okay, here we are. Here we are. Here we are. Here we are. Okay, so there is. Is that a plat? Mommy, go back up. Is that a platypus? Yes. So are platypuses where we are? No, you keep asking me that. There's no platypuses where we are that I know of or that has information has shown me. Platypus? Worms? It looks like it do. Yeah, it looks like it's eating a worm. Mm -hmm. And a worm is just doesn't move. They wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Well, I have seen one. You have? Yes. Where? On a rock. Mm. You know, when I cleaned up Tom's poop, I saw a whole bunch of worms. Oh. It took four years of living here for us to get worms on our land, and they finally showed up. And mommy, what's an animal that doesn't move? Not alive? No, what's an animal that doesn't move? A tree? A mushroom? Trees are not animals. I'll tell you what animal that doesn't move. It is a sea urchin. Oh, okay. Is a sea urchin an animal? Yeah, they are. Sea urchins are an animal. And they don't move? Yeah. I'm sure they move. What do you mean? They only just float around. They belong to the kingdom of Animalia. Subphylum is Echinozoa. Okay, and they, they just float around? Yeah, they just float around probably. How do sea urchins move? They have appendages called tube feet that often have suckers at the tip. The sea urchin uses the hydraulic pressure of mommy, water moving mommy. in and out of their tube feet to move mommy. about slowly. They do move. Mommy. They can also propel themselves mommy, along their are spines. Are seashells animals? Seashells have animals inside of them. Okay. The shell is their like housing. It's part of their exoskeleton. Mommy, what's Mommy, can you type what's an animal that doesn't move? Yeah, let's learn about that, if that's even possible. Yeah. What is an animal that does not move? Here, plenty of animals are sessile, meaning attached to something like a plant. They include sponges, anemones, corals, barnacles, oh, and sea squirts. Oh, I, I, I know sea sponge don't move. Mm-hmm. But they do move their stuff to eat. So, so sea sponges and anemones, those aren't considered plants? Those are considered animals? Yes. Interesting. That's very weird. What? That's very interesting. Very I, when I look at them, I see a plant-like creature, a plant-like organism. When I think of an animal, I think of... A creature that can choose to get up from where it is and move away. That's what I think of an animal. Oh. Granted, I know that some a bunch of people somewhere else came up with these classifications, but I'm just saying from my critical thinking perspective. 
For me, an animal is something that can get up and change locations in search of food or better shelter or protection. Turtles do move a lot. What are you talking about? You want to see turtles move? Turtles moving? don't move on land, but you can see them move on land. What is that? What? These are like leatherback looking turtles. Is that a baby turtle? Let's find out what it is. If it's a baby turtle, I'll see that. Swamp animals. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. I know. Mommy, I know turtles are swamp animals because they're dirty. Oh, they're not dirty. They just happen to be dark. That doesn't make them dirty. Dark does hey, not make you dirty. Mommy. Yes. Um. Here, Florida soft shell turtles. Mom, mommy. They're found in mom, Florida. Mommy, mommy, a turtle should be an artifact because it looks like it's a stone. <laughs> but it's that not. Moves. That's a great way to keep prey away. If a turtle is on rocks, you can't tell the difference between the turtle and the rock. And the turtle moves very, very slow so that the mommy? predator the predator can't can't mommy? see them move and lunge for mommy. them. Mommy. Mm-hmm. If a turtle goes on a rock, I can see it because I can see a little feeties. Mm -hmm. But that's also why you're at the top of the food chain as a human because you can decipher a lot of things and you're Wait, not using is food that like camouflage. Wait, is a lion at the top of the food chain because a lion is the king of the animals? Is he? Yes. Mm. Because it can like Oh yeah, it can eat, mommy. Oh, a lion can eat a finger. What animals are at the top of the food chain? It would say human. It would say Possibly. Human. Well, Wait. top of the food chain means that they're apex, means Wait, that they're not say, really eaten by anything let else. Let me say the top of the food chain animals. A polar bear and a leopard. Mm -hmm. And the leprechaun. That's a jaguar. And a jaguar. Cougar. And a cooler. Cougar. And a cougar. Where are those? That's lion. a lion. L I O N. Lion. Is this a lion? Click on it. That's an apex predator. Where's the lion thinking? Hmm? Where's the lion? The lion is right there. Cheetah. Shark. I'm trying to show ah! you how to scroll. And I try to troll. Alligator. That's a crocodile. Saltwater Cro crocodile. Crocodile. Alligator. That's a Nile crocodile. But where's the alligator? It's not on the list. A Komodo dragon. A sea turtle. It's a leopard seal. Leopard seal. Orca. Lion. There's a lot of cats. At the top of the food chain, it's not Whoa. just lion. It looks like Snow all leopard. of the all of the genus Panthera and are at the Snow. top of the food chain. And no leopard. What does that say about about Panthera I, that they're I, all at the top I, of the food chain? And no leopard. Yes, and snow leopard. And an eagle. Yes, the bald eagle and the golden eagle. What's a golden eagle? Is this what you guys saw in the car? A little bit. I don't know if it had. Golden hairs. Oh no. What color was the 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 big bird that sat on the car? Um black and gray. Was it a vulture? No I don't know what it was. Okay. Back to swamp animals? Yes. Those are all the animals at the food shine. Eagles are um, swamps? I know that. And teddy alligator. Wait, mommy, go back to the thing. Oh. This is toucan. This is toucan. That's South American animals from the rainforest. Well, this is toucan. Mm -hmm. And this is Froggy the Frog Mick. That's the red-eyed tree frog. No, it's Froggy the Frog Mick. The... The frog that we called Froggy the Frog Mick that was close to the washing machine or dryer and a red belly piranha. Ooh, red belly piranha. And a little 
leopard. Jaguar. Jaguar. Look, when you see the J, J A G U A R, Jaguar. Uh, That's how you know it's not a leopard, it's a jaguar. Tell me, what happened with this animal? That's an anteater. Anteater, and this is a. Um, Try to sound out the letters. I -gua -na. Iguana. I G U A N A. Iguana. Now I'm starting to think Godzilla is a iguana and not a lizard. Mm. But isn't an iguana a lizard? Yeah. So Godzilla is a iguana and a lizard, and King Kong is a is a um gorilla. And why did they not make a uh, King Ghidorah versus King Kong movie because they called them King Ghidorah and King Kong. So one of them is the King of the Monsters. Mm. But it has to be Godzilla because they're like the strongest. Okay. Toucan. Mommy, are do these two cans talk when you train them to? I don't know. Are they a form of parrot? Do two cans Mommy, talk? Do parrots already know how to talk? Um, when they are around humans, they do not talk or sing and are only vocal when they want attention or are hungry. They have a pleasant rattle-like tremolo when happy or content. They can be aggressive with other birds and are known to occasionally kill and eat smaller species like canaries and finches. So toucans do not speak and they eat other birds. But look at this. I think they talk on this video. No, it's just their toucan is meeting some someone else. There's not it's not a toucan talking. Then why and how do you train a bird how to talk? That's how a toucan talks. They just squawk. No, how do you train? A they do the tremolo. How do you train an animal how to talk? Well, if you're talking about dogs, um, you give them a pad that has different buttons on it that say different words. And when they're ready, they learn the words and they learn the meaning. And if you're talking about a parrot, well, they listen to you speak and they mimic, just like babies, they mimic what you say until they understand the context, and then they can do things like tell Google to turn the lights on or off. So then the animal talks? Mm -hmm. I mean, all animals technically talk. It's just how many have the ability to learn, understand, and articulate English. So like dogs can speak English, but they can't speak through their mouths. They have to use devices to speak English. Dog, my dinosaur is not saying anything. Because dog. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's see. Probably we should say dog to Tom and then probably they will talk. How to teach a dog how to talk. See, you use push buttons. And when they learn the meanings of the words on the push buttons, they will go to it and tell you how they feel. Why did they call them you butt? I know. So the dog was mad. So they're, they're the dog's pet said they were sorry, and the dog said, I am mad. What? By making a sound? Mm -hmm. We're talking. By making the sound. So the dog is thinking, and they are we're figuring out which button to press. And they said, ouch. We're they're mad because they're in pain. In your ear? Where is stranger? In your paw? Let me see your paw. Okay, I'm gonna put this down. This is this stranger in her paw. She's got a mat between her ow, toes. And that's stuck in it. Now I'm gonna have to figure out how to remove the mat between her toes. Quick reminder that see that? Bunny is available. Yeah. You see that? The dog said, I'm mad because ouch. There's a stranger in my paw. What stranger in the paw? There was a prick in their paw that was hurting them. And they were able to communicate that to their pet, to their human pet. Anyone who wants to learn how to train or teach, I don't like the word train, but anyone who would like to teach their dog how to talk, 
you can grab the book I Am Bunny by Alexis Devine. And you can communicate in English with your dogs. Okay. So have we gone through all the swamp animals? Have you had, are you satiated now that you've learned a lot about them? Yeah, but mm -hmm. one more question. Okay. Look, this turtle looks like Bumpy. Looks like an ankylosaurus. And that's a turtle. I, I'm pretty sure I know what animal that is. It's, it's an alligator shelled turtle. You are so smart. It's an alligator snapping turtle. Okay, yeah. You are so smart. It's an alligator snapping turtle. Wow. Okay. How's your brain so big? How do you keep all that information? Because I played Dr. Panda, the animals, where you draw the animal. So Dr. Panda helps you? Yeah, but I did all the levels in it. I did all the levels of the animals. Okay. Well... Congratulations on achieving, accomplishing all the levels. Well done. This turtle really looks like an ankylosaurus. Mm -hmm. it looks like an ankylosaurus. Hmm. Very, very fascinating. Very, very fascinating. Look, it's the swamp rat. -da 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 -da. Wait, that's not a swamp rat. I thought that was a swamp rat. What is that? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? I want to know what you are. I thought you were a swamp rat. I mean, I know koalas are in swamps. No, that was the zoo. That, that's, that's the zoo in San Diego. This is a possum. It looked like a rat. It's a possum. See, look, crabs. Crabs live in the swamp. I already saw that crab. That crab, that crab is very, very blue. Mommy, speaking Living in the bayou. Mommy, Speaking of crabs, we should, for the first time, for the last time, what is Mr. Krabs? Do you want our listeners to answer that question? Um, no, we should answer it for them. Okay. What is Mr. Krabs? Mr. Krabs is a, what's this word that I'm typing? Shop. S-T-R-A-W-B-E-R-R-Y. Strawberry crab. Mr. Krabs is a strawberry crab. Okay. He's a Krabby Patty. No! Wait, so if Mr. Krabs is a crab who serves Krabby Patties, what is the Krabby Patty made of? Um, the secret formula that um, Plankton's trying to seal. Yeah, but what is it made of? I want to know. I need Plankton to steal that Krabby Patty formula and find out what is Mr. Krabs putting in his Krabby Patty. Because I don't like the ideas that are running through my head of what a Krabby Patty could be made of. Is I it a crab cake? Krabby... Is, it a, is it a cow cake? I think is it a chicken the... cake? Mommy, I think the Krabby pa... I think the secret formula is made out of crabs because it's the Krabby Patty, but it's not so made crazy. of Mr. Krabs. That is so crazy. I need to have an adult conversation about and this mommy, now. And mommy, also, Mr. Krabs has a daughter, the whale. Mm. It's a whale. I don't even want to begin to think about how that could even be possible. He and adopted her? I don't know. And how does the whale not eat the crab? The whale doesn't eat the crab in the show. I know that, but I'm talking about in real life. Whales don't eat crabs. The crab would snap the whale's tongue. <laughs> okay. All right, so do the thing. What is it? This is Uncle Podges of our life. Oh, what it's supposed to be? Uncle PGs of our life. PGs like pay PJs, unschool pajamas of our lives. Well, we do do the show in our pajamas, <laughs> so that's kind of true. Unschool PJs of our lives. PJ masks. 
They don't pay us. What well, sounded like PJ Masks. I know, but unschool pages of our lives. Like and subscribe. Get our book, Unschool Discoveries. Don't bet. And tell a friend about our podcast.